Hi guys, it's me, 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 and today we are going to be talking about dopamine. So, dopamine, what is it? Well, basically, in the simplest terms, so there's a transmitter and a receptor, and the dopamine is the message sent from one to the other. So then, why are we talking about all this? Well, the cause of schizophrenia is not really known as it's unique to humans. By that, I mean tests done on rats or mice couldn't be spotted easily. Actually, what I really meant by that is that the cause of each person's schizophrenia is actually slightly a little bit different, so you might actually not really know what the actual cause is and stuff. Yeah, bye. But a clue might actually be in the medication itself. You see, a majority of antipsychotics actually improve schizophrenia symptoms by blocking dopamine receptors. This basically suggests that schizophrenia has something to do with an increased level of dopamine. Another highly effective medication is clozapine, a weak D2 blocker, suggesting that other neurotransmitters like neuroporiprine, no Neuroferine prine. Like norepinephrine. How do you say that? Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine? Norepinephrine. Suggesting that other neurotransmitters like norepinephrine, serotonin, and GABA are probably involved. So, yeah, norepinephrine is the stress hormone, serotonin is the happy hormone, and GABA is something that sounds like ABBA but isn't ABBA. Now, I do just want to say that not all these medications work, they don't affect everyone with schizophrenia, some people are different. So the cause is probably much more than just too much dopamine.